For as the woman is of the man, uh -huh. even so is the man also, also by the woman. woman. Mm -hmm. But all things of God. Mm -hmm. Read. Read from 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. We are now at verse 13. Judge in yourselves. Is it comely? Is that look beautiful? That's what that's, that's comely means. Is that, is that look beautiful? That a woman pray to God uncovered. Yeah. Say it's a bad. That's right. It look ugly. Amen. 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 Verse 14. Do if not even nature itself teach you? Say do if not even nature, nature itself teaches us. That if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Why are so many men these days right in the church? No more long hair. Some of got more long hair than women's hair. Amen. Amen. Shame on you. Amen. You understand? Know Thank you, Shame Lord. on you. You say, you can make yourself teach you that. I'm a man of God and got long hair. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Leave that for those rap guys out there. They're out there boogity 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 bong jaw. Hey, go. <laughs> That's right. Amen. But if I'm in the church here now, I think my hair should be cut down nice and neat. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 No my son, I can go like mm. you know, like, like the what? And a lot of them go into the build to, to, to the to the to the place there and get the stitching on the head too, you know. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. You look at the head, right along your hair, because look, mm -hmm. now they look at everything, and all of a sudden it took a different change. <laughs> Something glue glued to it. Mm -hmm. We did it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Do want to go to heaven or not? Amen. Well, they get to heaven like like Frank to me said, look, brother Burns. When we were there, young, and we hear you preaching, and uh, we would say, and other freedom too, say, he hard on us, you know what I mean? He said, and, and we thought you were just being hard on us and, and whatnot. He said, but you know what, brother Fur? Preach. Preach. So you was right. Preach it, brother Fur. Preach it hard. I have a letter right here. Amen. Preach it hard. I have a lot more hard. If I had to listen to what was preached, what was preached to me, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in here now. Amen. 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 Read my brother. Read from 1 Corinthians. The left of chapter, we are now at verse 15. But if a woman have long hair... Read that 15 again. 14. Do if not even nature yeah. itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Don't you know one thing? If I had long hair, by hearing this today, I want to go to heaven. Amen. Mr. Ball will have to see me tomorrow morning. Amen. By tomorrow night. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Get rid of this thing here. Uh -uh. I'm all right. What am I going to be doing? God hating me? Does it shame before God? What's going on here? Read. Verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, uh -huh. it is a glory to her. For her hair is given to her for a covering. Uh -huh. But if any Listen man... Now. Listen. Read. But if any man seem to be contentious, uh -huh. we have no such custom. Neither the churches of God. Mm. Now, if you want to be contentious, otherwise you want to put up an argument in this year or whatever, we have no such custom. The apostles have no such custom. God right. have no such custom. You can't change God's word. Mm -hmm. What is written is written. Amen. 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 First, first Corinthians 6 chapter. First Corinthians 6 chapter, start at 12 verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are lawful unto me. All things are lawful unto me. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Uh -huh. We're reading from 1 Corinthians Thank you, Lord. chapter. Now verse 13. Thank you. Thank you. Meats for the belly. Meat for the belly. And belly for me. And for me. Okay. But God shall destroy both it and them. Yeah. Now the body is not for fornication. Now the body. See, God speak in the church. Yes. Let me just tell you something up here. What written in this your Bible is for the people of God. Amen. 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 Only thing God tells a sinner to do is to repent. Then fall in line with the words yes, here. Amen. God know how the Satan is, and God know how Satan can de can deceive us yes. all kind of way. So He warned the church and tell you what He wants. If you want to go to heaven, obey my rule. Amen. 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 
obey my audience. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. But Paul followed Christ. Paul was no hypocrite. Amen. Amen. Paul was a true man of God. Amen. 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 Now the body is not for fornication. Now the body is not for fornication because we have fornication right in the church. Amen. 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 Then God goes in the church, women looking over there. Mm. Men looking at the women. That, that's what the preacher said. What? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, huh, huh, I don't know. My eye was over there on that lady sitting there with, with that neck on many on there. And, I, and I'm looking down the aisle. And that's all I can think about. I don't know what he said. Ask me. You should have been there listening to it yourself. Why you didn't hear you know, you know what he said? Well, I got to tell you, confess to you too, brother. My eye was on something too. Mm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to God. Read. But for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. Mm. Verse 14. And God hath been, and God hath both raised up the Lord mm. and will also raise up us by his own power. Amen. We're reading from 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, we are now at verse 15. Uh -huh. Know ye not Listen to this now. that your bodies are the members of Christ. Your bodies are the, are the members of Christ. Because when you got the Holy Ghost, a lot of people don't realize who they are. Yes. When you have the Holy Ghost, you're the most precious person on the face of this earth. Mm. As I was telling you last, last Sunday, Sunday, I think it was, I looked at the prince that man, William, Prince William, yeah. and his bride there. How they ride in that chariot, you know what I mean? Right. I saw the temple with the place where they got married in, and who married them. He gets up there in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. All that, the pipes, those pipes in there, all this stuff. Well, and the man ain't, don't have the truth. A man that have the truth, he would go just, he would do just like the apostles. In the name of Jesus Christ, or even, even in the name of Jesus Christ, or in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Boom, boom, boom. I said, poor fellow. Don't have the truth and all that. Prince William, down in the knees, I said, brothers, how long are you going to stay on the knees? Yeah. I know you're hoping for the man to get up. He's going through this and that. But what am I saying? The reason I came to that, I thought about the people of God. Mm. I said that all that money, the leaves and jewels and everything, is not to be compared to the people of God. Man. The people of God down this, even on this earth is poor. Let me tell you, poor, Amen. not wealthy, not rich, poor. Amen. Amen. God said, blessed be the poor, for yarn is the kingdom of God. Poor people that love the Lord. Amen. God said, having nothing down here, just possessing all things. Amen. Now, see, see, Prince William, and, and, and I don't know what they name the Queen Elizabeth and what's not going on. They don't possess all things. But people of God possess all things. Having nothing down here, you can still be possessing all things. Why? You have a royal priesthood. Yes. You have God inside of you. Yes. And one day God will call us out of this old house of flesh. Yes. And he's going to take us with him in heaven. Yes. Yes. He's not going to give us the old heaven. He'll give us a new heaven. Yes. Yes. Streets could be made of pure gold. Yes. I look at hey. I look at what William and his bride, the, the, the horse was pulling the chariot on. Same thing we drive on every day. Some old rocks in our asphalt mixed together. But no, this city gonna be streets of pure gold. Hallelujah, God. The walls gonna be garnished with all kinds of precious stones. Look at the foundation of stones. I'm talking about jewelry, brother. Not some little thing about big as a, 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 a sweet pea. Mm. Little stuff. Oh, boy, you all saw that rock? I thought about Ella Freeman any time on that. He said, sometimes he's walking down the street. And think about who he really is. That he's of the royal priesthood. He's a child of the king. He said he felt like a big shot. Yes, sir. Amen. They made him, they boost him up. Yeah. Made him feel like a big shot. We are something. Yeah. Without him, we ain't nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Without God Almighty, yeah. we are nothing. Yeah. Read. Again, we're reading from 1 Corinthians, 
The sixth chapter, we have verse 15. Know ye not? Say, know ye not? That your bodies are the members of Christ. Know ye not? Do you know what That your body is the member of Christ? Yes. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of a harlot? I, 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 I kept quiet. I want you to get this to come to the word. Mm -hmm. I, you, your body is the members of Christ. Amen. This should not take this shit. They go down and lay down with a, with a harlot. But well, listen here. I'm hoping that I got she ain't no holler. Mm. If she laying down on you, she put the she on her back and you on top there? Mm. Mm. No, yeah. God says she's a holler. My Lord. Yeah. Amen. You know what a holler is? Mm -hmm. Lay down with your own husband. Amen. Lay down some other way, you're a holler. Amen. And that's what brothers do in these days. Not only lay down with them, they marry them too. Mm -hmm. Having babies by them, got the Holy Ghost. Join up with a holler, because you know, you know what you what you what you what you go for you read. Let, let, let the word about you. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. And make them the members of a harlot. See? God forbid. 